Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of when I got Lizzie, or Elizabeth. I just call her Lizzie. So if you guys don't know who Lizzie is, if those of you who are new to my channel and you don't know who she is, she is my cat who I had for about five years now, and since I don't celebrate her birthday, I'm not going to be celebrating her birthday in this video. Instead, I'm going to be celebrating her gotcha day, the day um, I adopted her and let her live in my house. Well, in and out of my house because, you know, she's inside and outside cat. So anyway, this all started um, as soon as I got out of eighth grade and it was summertime. So it was me, my mom and my grandma. We, the three of us decided to go to the animal shelter because I wanted another cat. I mean, we, I did have a cat at home, it's just I wanted another one. So, three of us went to the animal shelter, and the first thing I noticed is that it smelled like dog shit and cat piss and all that. But, but besides the smell, we went to the little section where they had kittens, and I noticed some of the top row of kittens and some of the bottom row of kittens, and they were super cute. But, what my mom noticed is that she noticed this specific little kitten on the bottom left hand side and she was like oh hey mom look at this little kitten's nose because my grandma that I brought with me was my mom's mom so if I didn't want to confuse at the time because I have two grandmas anyway I thought and I noticed the kitten as well so that kitten was super cute but I was debating if I wanted this little kitten or any other kitten instead and I was and I was thinking in my head you know what fuck it let's take this kitten so we adopted her and brought her back to my house well my parents house but anyway brought her back to my house and um our dog tyler at the time because we had a dog as well uh just was super excited to see our cat and just wanted to play with it but he was super energetic and it would scare the kitten so we had to hurry and bring her up in my room just so she felt comfortable and she was a little nervous and scared at first so I had everything I needed in my room as well. So I had litter box, I had some food, some water, everything she needed. But the first thing she did was just hide under my bed because of how scared she was. And I couldn't blame her. She thought like going under my bed was the most comfortable and safe place, which is completely fine because some cats get scared and nervous and they don't jump up on you immediately like dogs do. Cats are different than dogs. So anyway, after two weeks of staying in my room because our other cat that we had didn't like her because he was a lot older than she was. And as soon as the two weeks were up for my room, she explored the living room and tried to adjust to our other cat. And he seemed more like a father figure to Lizzie after he warmed up to her. They were like a father-daughter. They had like a father-daughter relationship because he was a lot older than she was. And she was just the cutest little thing. And I've also made stories about my cat Lizzie, about her being an outside cat. And then now she's an inside cat. She's like an in and out cat now. So she's just all over the place these days because sometimes she stays in the house just to cuddle with me and you know sometimes she likes to lay up on my bed and cuddle with me lay up on the end of my bed and sometimes she likes to get up on my stomach and kiss me on the nose she's really good at getting kiss giving kisses because there's some cats out there that'll lick you and kiss you and I find that super cute and I let her do it I honestly let her do it because you know she's really good at giving kisses and I wouldn't want to push down the opportunity because there are some rare cats out there who actually will kiss you and and my older cat the other older cat he doesn't give kisses he's just somewhat anti-social but as soon as he got older he was super social and very loving but he's not with us anymore because he suddenly disappeared and we don't know why and that was a long time ago so now it's just lizzie and tyler tyler excuse me that live in the house and now that Lizzie is an inside and an outside cat, she has just turned five years old today. And I'm super happy for her because I can just remember the day that I adopted her. Well, me, my mom, and my grandma because my grandma came over for a visit and um, 
she wanted to tag along with us to, you know, adopt Lizzie. And she's gonna, and she still remembers it. And it's one heck of a memory that she uh, remembers because she loves every single bit of it. Like seeing Lizzie and meeting her and, you know, say, and, you know, being super sweet to her. And, um, because my grandma, my mom's mom, she watches my videos all the time. And she'll recall the time that we adopted Lizzie and, you know, all of that. So I can't believe five years has passed ever since I adopted Lizzie. Adopted her back in May, the end of May in 2017. And she was super cute. She looked like about a month or two old. Still a kitten, but she looked pretty young. And I didn't know how old she was. Because the, you know, people at the animal shelter didn't know. So, I'm just celebrating her gotcha day. Because, you know, it's, be it's you know, the second best thing other than a birthday. Am I right? So, if you want to see little Lizzie and see how she's doing, giving you a little update, I'll show you guys how she's doing. So, let's get on to that. So, this is Lizzie. She's out chilling out in the backyard. Also a little update on our backyard. We don't have the stepping rocks like we used to anymore. We got, we replaced it with concrete. You want back inside? I don't know if I can let you back in the house. You're dirty. Because sometimes you like to wander out in the backyard and stuff. So anyway, this is Lizzie and she's gotten older and she's been growing. She just acts like a baby. Sometimes she just wants in and out of the house. And whenever she's inside, she looks through this backyard door and just wouldn't stop crying and just, until she gets let outside. Oh, you're so loud. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll let you in the house. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a little update on how she's doing. Anyway, she's probably hungry. You hungry, kitty cat? You hungry? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And before I go, I want to let you guys know that I won't be here recording a new video for next week because my mom is taking me to a pride parade. Um, when, when, you know, Pride Month, June comes up, she's taking me to a pride parade on June 4th and I'm super excited for that and I'll be making a video about that um, in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gotcha day, Lizzie Lou. I love you. Just nom on your food away. Anyway, peace.